हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ग्रेट नाइन्थ लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल्स पार्ट टू टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू सम मोर क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल्स एट कैन बी आज इन द एग्जाम सो फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ ए सो दैट एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन एंड वाई इज इक्वल टू वन इज द सोल्यूशन ऑफ गिवन इक्वेशन सो फॉर दिस यू नो that if x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 is the solution of the given equation it means it has to satisfy it so here in place of x and y we are going to put 1 and 1 so 3 into 1 plus a into 1 will be equal to 6 which implies 3 plus a is equal to 6 now this is a linear equation in a and you can solve and get the value of a so a comes out to be Three. Next, a x minus two y is equal to ten. Again, I have to put x is equal to one and y is equal to one. So this equation reduces to a into one minus two into one is equal to ten, which implies a in minus two is equal to ten. Implies a is equal to ten plus two is equal to two. Third. 5x plus 2ay is equal to 3a. So again, here I am going to put x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1. So we have 5 into 1 plus 2a into 1 is equal to 3a, which implies 5 plus 2a is equal to 3a. Implies 5 is equal to 3a minus 2a. That means a is equal to 5. So in all these questions, we have found the values of a. Next, express uh, this was this we discussed last time. Okay, now here next question can be find four solutions of the given equation. So here what we have to do, we are first going to solve it a little bit. So this gives me two x minus two plus three y is equal to four, which implies two x plus three y minus two is uh, minus four is equal to zero, which implies two x plus three y minus six is equal to zero. Implies two x is equal to minus three y plus six. Or x is equal to minus three y plus six upon two. Notice here what we have done is we have tried to convert this equation into a, uh, a, a equation which is dependable. That means here x variable is depending on the value of y. Y is independent, but value of x is depending on value of Why? After this, we make a table, right? And columns here. We'll try to find out at least uh, here four solutions are required. So x and y are the columns. And what did I tell you? I told you that here when I am expressing x in terms of y, it means x is dependent on the value of y, and y is independent. That means you can choose. any value of y that you want and value of x will be calculated so i suggest here that mentally you see which will be the best suited values of y so that i am able to do the cancellation easily now here y can be taken as 0 if i take y as 0 i will have x is equal to -3 into 0 plus 6 upon 2 That is equal to six upon two means three. So value of x calculated is three. Next, take y is equal to one. If I take y is equal to one, then x is equal to minus three into one plus six upon two, which gives me minus three plus six upon two. That is equal to three upon two. That is one point five. Then put x is equal to two. Y is equal to two. If I put y is equal to two, x will be equal to minus three into two plus six upon two. That gives you minus six plus six upon two, which is equal to zero upon two. That is zero. And y is equal to four. 
then put here we get x is equal to minus 3 into 4 plus 6 upon 2 that is minus 12 plus 6 upon 2 implies minus 6 upon 2 that is minus 3. So these are the four solutions of linear equation in two variable. Hope you remember I told you in the last video that if a linear equation in two variables is given it has infinitely many solutions. Why it has infinitely many solutions you will be able to understand more when you are going to plot the graphs. Next question, graphical representation of linear equations. Now, I, now you have learned how to make a table of values of linear equation in two variables. So, we are going to make use of that. So, whenever you have to do graphical representation of linear equation in two variables, always remember to find at least three solutions. Fine. So, what is the method? I will try to convert it into a dependable equation or if you can do mentally the calculations, you can do. There is no harm in that, right? So, here 2x plus 3 is equal to uh, plus 2x plus 3y is equal to 6. So, here if you assume the values of y on your own, then you can calculate the values of x. Put x is equal, y is equal to 0, 1 and 2. Then what will happen? When you are putting y is equal to 2, you will have 6 here. So that means 2x is equal to 6 minus 6. So what is there? You can have x is equal to 0. Next, you can put y is equal to 0. If you have put y is equal to 0, 2x is equal to 6. That means what? x will be equal to 6 upon 2 that is 3 next you can always put uh, here y is equal to 1 if you put y is equal to 1 here then you will have 2x is equal to 6 minus 3 that means x is equal to 3 upon 2 that is 1.5 now how to plot for that you have to draw the Cartesian plane right that is x axis y axis both have to be made and all these markings have to be done and now plot to 0 comma 2 0 comma 2 will be on y axis all right and then you have 3 comma 0 3 comma 0 will be on x axis next point is 1.5 and 1 that means x is to be 1.5 and y is 1 so they meet here so this point is 1.5 1 and then you join all these now notice here that you have got a straight line that is why the name is given as linear equation in two variables linear means line now see line is a combination of or it is a collection of infinite number of points which are placed very closely to each other right that is why any number any point which is lying on this line is going to be the solution of this equation right that is why we are saying that it has infinitely many solutions this line can be extended up to infinity and it is a collection of infinite number of points and we know that we can draw a line with minimum two points but we are taking 3 here and I always suggest that you should take 3 so that whenever you are drawing a line and suppose you have done some mistake, some calculation mistake. So if there are 3 points, one of the points will not lie on the line and that will tell you that your graph is not correct. So please it is a request that always find three minimum 3 solutions for any linear equation in 2 variables. Next, you have this. You can draw, you can take a screenshot, you can pause it and you can try to draw the graphs of all these. Draw the graphs for these two. Do they intersect? Which figure is formed by these two lines and x-axis? This you can try. You can pause the video and you can try these. Then you can check few of the answers from here. Draw the graph of x is equal to y. It is very simple. Draw the table, right? You can 
find minimum three points, three solutions. I have taken four. So x is equal to y as it suggests that whatever is going to be the value of x is going to be the value of y. So if x is 1, y is 1. If x is 0, y is 0. This is 2, this is 2. Here minus 1, minus 1. And now plotting. Plotting is not a difficult thing because you have already done coordinate geometry, right? So you can just plot all these points. 1 comma 1, 0 comma 0 here, 2 comma 2 here and minus 1 comma minus 1 here. And now you notice that they all lie on a straight line. Next is x is equal to 2y. 2y. What does that mean? It means that the value of x is double of y. So whatever value of y you will assume, double you will take for x. So I take the points as of y as, because this is dependent on y. Right? So y is independent, so you can take the values of y, whatever you want. I have taken minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. So if y is equal to minus 1, x will be equal to minus 2. If y is 0, x will be equal to 0. If y is 1, y will be, uh, sorry, if y is 1, x will be 2. If y is 2, x will be 4. And now we have to plot it again. Kindly plot the graphs on graph paper. So here 0, 0 is there minus uh, 2 comma minus 1 so minus 2 minus 1 point lies here 2 1 it lies here 4 and 2 it lies here join them you get this line and also in exam or in your notebooks please write equation here as x is equal to 2y here also please do not forget that this line is representing x is equal to y and x is equal to 2y. Now x is equal to 5. Now we have some special equations. If I have x is equal to 5 but I have to draw its graph then what to do? That means I need to reduce it to linear equation in two variables. So what we can, what does this suggest? This suggests that value of x is fixed. But value of y is not fixed. So what I can do is, I can write here as x is equal to 5, 5, 5. And what will be y? y can be anything. So 0, 2 and minus 1 I have taken. Now you can plot these. x is fixed. Right? x has to be fixed. So 5 comma 0 will be this. 5 comma 2 will be this point. And 5 comma minus 1 will be this point. Draw this line. So what do you notice? That x is equal to 5 is a graph which is parallel to y axis. Right? It also just suggests that throughout this graph the value of x will always remain 5. But value of y can always change. Similarly, y is equal to 2. What does this suggest? This suggests that value of y will always be same. Right? So, we can take y is equal to 2, 2, 2. But value of x can change. So, you can assume value of x as whatever you want to have. That is minus 3, 0 and 4. Now, how to plot? Let us see. Minus 3, 2 can be plotted here. x minus 3, 2. This is y. Then here 0 comma 2 4 comma 2 draw this line so you get y is equal to 2 is a line which is parallel to x axis x is equal to 5 is a line parallel to y axis y is equal to 2 is a line parallel to x axis Now, a very, very important question that is give geometric representation of y is equal to 3 as an equation in one variable and as in two variables. Now, see if I take x is e y is equal to 3, it means that it would represent a point because it is <coughs> one variable. 
सो हाउ टू रिप्रेजेंट फॉर दैट आई नीड टू ड्रॉ ओनली वन एक्सेस सो यू मे ड्रॉ इट हॉरिजोंटली यू मे ड्रॉ इट वर्टिकली आई हैव ड्रॉन इट हॉरिजोंटली ऑन दिस यू मार्क ऑल द पॉइंट्स एंड वाई इज इक्वल टू थ्री इज गोइंग टू बी दिस पॉइंट नाउ इन टू वेरिएबल्स वॉट विल हैपन इन टू वेरिएबल्स यू नीड टू हैव वैल्यूज फॉर एक्स एंड वाई बोथ एज वी हैव डन इन द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन right so for y is equal to 3 it means value of y is constant 3 3 3 but value of x can be minus 1 0 and 1 you can take whatever you want and then after that you plot it y is equal to 3 must be a line parallel to x axis as we have learned now plot these three points and then draw the line so this is known as the representation geometric representation of y is equal to 3 as an equation right and this is the geometric representation as a in one variable geometric representation in two variables geometric representation in one variable let us do one more question of this type quickly give geometric representation of 2x plus 9 is equal to 0 as an equation in one variable and in two variables 2x plus 9 is equal to 0 can always be written as x is equal to minus 9 upon 2 which is equal to minus 4.5 now what are you having x is equal to minus 4.5 that means the value of x is fixed now right in one variable we will draw only one axis and over that we will represent it as a point for two variables you need to draw two axes and in two variables it will represent a line so x is equal to minus 4.5 that will be a line parallel to y axis how let us draw the table fix the value of x as minus 4.5 minus 4.5 minus 4.5 value of y can be taken as whatever you want right so Minus one zero one. Then plot these points over here. This is minus four point five comma one, minus four point five comma zero, and minus four point five comma minus one. And then draw this line. This is the representation of two x plus nine is equal to zero in two variables, and this is the representation of 2x plus 9 is equal to 0 in one variable. Hope the whole topic is clear to you. Further, we'll have one more video in which we will be revising all the concepts with more questions. Thank you.